Hi Sanam, welcome again. Hi sir. Okay. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon Sanam. And uh, today Sanam, our uh, point of discussion is very interesting. This is related to Iceland. So uh, yes, that sir. country, uh, I must say that um, uh, normally we have not explored opportunities in Iceland. And uh, uh, you have uh, got a couple of information here. And we it will be very interesting to know about those opportunities. So yes, I start with the, uh, my first question, uh, Sanyam, that why Indian uh, should focus on Iceland. Matlab, we have no idea about Iceland, masters and uh, you know PhD programs uh, in Iceland. Uh, so please tell us about can that be a destination for Indian students? Yes, sir. So first, I would like to tell that uh, recently that Education Minister of Iceland has, you know, uh, passed a huge budget for uh, like uh, higher education in Iceland. And um, not only that, like Iceland offers free education for masters, master students there. So mm -hmm. as the as you know, uh, like uh, Sweden and Finland also used to provide free education. Mm -hmm. Now Norway is also considering to bring a, a like tuition fees for international students. Somehow Iceland will also one day, you know, mm. bring this thing in their mm. uh, in their ecosystem. So it, it's first thing is education is free there, and second thing is uh, students actually can enjoy a free movement over, uh, you know, the different Scandinavian countries. So it opens a corridor for uh, students to go and explore other. So, so that I will come to later, uh, Sanam. Uh, but yes. uh, you told me that as of now, the government of Iceland, as you mentioned, that uh, Education Minister of Iceland has, uh, you know, told some academic opportunities. So, isko dekhe to ye lag ki abhi tak they have not, unlike Norway. Now, Sweden, Denmark, mein to band ho chuka abhi free education. Yes, sir. Norway mein abhi bhi hai, lekin uh, government is talking about ki usko band kar dena hai. So, maybe yes, sir. one year or so. So, Iceland mein to, I don't think aisi koi discussion abhi chal raha hai ki hum band kar denge. Aisa no, sir. Ab Koi discussion nahi hai. Abhi hmm. fully funded programs hai. In fact, more opportunities they are trying to roll out. Exactly. Achha, meri, meri question aap se ye tha ki wahan pe university hai kaun si jisko hum log target kar sakein. So which university Indian student can target? So first university jo famous hai Reykjavik University hai. Jahan pe like uh, her uh, stream or her specialization ko study kiya jata hai. Okay. Mostly wahan pe uh, Reykjavik University aur ek university of Iceland hai. Hmm. Uh, university of Iceland recently bahut zyada uh, like a uh, spike hua hai because of its uh, QS world ranking which is 301 so mm. wahan pe students kafi matlab uh, uh, like uh, converge kar rahe hain mm. university of iceland mein mm -hmm. acha sanam uh, okay i understand that iceland people are not aware and maybe we can get in top 500 QS ranking universities also maybe for ms and phd programs and maybe we can get easily into that exactly so what about opportunities after that okay so as I recently mentioned that uh, they have passed a huge budget for education and uh, higher education. So the career opportunities are mostly academic. So if you are targeting masters, you can easily switch to PhD program mm -hmm. there and then postdoc. If mm -hmm. you are a PhD, like if you are pursuing, if you want to pursue PhD, you can easily mm -hmm. enroll for postdoc. Mm -hmm. And once see, you are in, see, mm -hmm. start earlier, succeed sooner. So mm -hmm. once you become famous there in your domain, no one can replace you. So university and you will be recognized as a, a domain expert there. And also, as you said, that we can connect it with the other countries in Europe. Exactly. Free corridor, which I'm going to discuss with you. So that's also an opportunity. Hai usme. Yes, sir. And, and can you tell me, uh, Sanam, the kind of, uh, you know, uh, domains or kind of research areas for which government is serious uh, and government is ready to fund higher education programs? Mm -hmm, yes. So first is environmental uh, environmental engineering. Particularly, they are like uh, concerned about green energy and uh, non-conventional sources of energy. Mm -hmm. Second, they are also looking for artificial intelligence and uh, data science based uh, uh, based of like based uh, education. That is uh, uh, in, like inclusion of these uh, modern developments or modern computer science and data science programs into environment mechanical smart manufacturing, additive manufacturing, all these programs. Mm. So they are actually looking forward to these kind of uh, programs. Mm. And now uh, I'm coming to free corridors, which is the most interesting part of our discussion. Please tell us if free mm -hmm. corridor hack and what are the advantage of uh, this to Indian students? 
सर सो मोस्टली सर स्टूडेंट्स का ये बाइस रहता है कि मतलब आइसलैंड है ये तो सर रिमोट है यहाँ पे हमें क्या ही अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलेगी और कैसे मूव करेंगे हम आइसलैंड में तो एक छोटा सा कंट्री है तो दे शुड नॉट थिंक लाइक दैट बिकॉज आइसलैंड इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ यूरोपियन यूनियन राइट एंड बींग दैट बींग सेट दैट uh once you go to iceland you get ample of opportunities to get student exchange program mm-hmm. so once you go there you can actually switch from iceland to norway finland sweden germany mm-hmm. you will be get getting these exchange opportunities by the mm-hmm. university itself mm-hmm. and uh, once you once you go there you will be able to easily switch to student exchange program and go to mm-hmm. finland sweden or maybe any other country mm-hmm. and uh, best part is whole since you are availing free education in iceland they won't charge you a single penny to you know get exchange to other country mm-hmm. so they mm-hmm. will handle all your expenses in other country as well mm-hmm. so indirect way hoga matlab if if i don't want to spend money and want to go to sweden suppose then let me <laughs> yes, go and then go to sweden right <laughs> yes sir so, so one year you study in the... iceland one year uh, yes sir so one year you study in iceland one year you study in uh, maybe other country and uh, mm. you can also stay there uh, mm. for your future career mm. yes sir you were saying about india i, I was saying we indians are very good in finding the you know alternate routes <laughs> yes, the sir. optimum routes which you have just suggested so so now at the end i want to ask you sanam can we recommend students for iceland yes sir definitely if you are post doc like if you are phd fellow and looking for post doc go without any thinking if you are have completed master and looking for phd just go without thinking mm, wonderful chalo that's yes, wonderful uh, sanam so this entire session was related to iceland so as you mentioned there are some good universities free education and a corridor uh, to you know a link a bridge to other uh, scandinavian countries and european nation maybe and good opportunities later on so good opportunities for indian students in ms and phd programs competition yes, yes and there is a very high exactly. you get admission so thanks yeah. a lot sanam for suggesting all these uh, opportunities to indian students and uh, we keep on coming every week thank you sanam yes sir okay